Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about punctuation. Now we have three types of punctuation. We have a period, exclamation mark, question mark. Our period we use for our statements or commands. That's what we use a lot for most of our, most of our sentences. The exclamation shows like strong feelings. So when we're really excited or really scared when we, when we use that. Our last one is our question mark. We use that to ask a question or to get information. So, I have a story here, and it's about a family going away. I'm going to read my story. If you notice, I'm missing a lot of punctuation marks. Now, that punctuation mark tells us to pause when we read. So, I'm going to try to read it with only one period, and that means I do not pause. So, here we go. My family is going on a trip. We are going to the shore. I can't wait to swim and play there. It is, will be so much fun. Oh, that's what I wanted to read without those pauses. Let's go check it out, see if we can find put some periods in. Remember, we put a period or a punctuation mark when we're either changing and talking about something new, or when we go take a breath is a good way to show that we're ready for a period. My family, my family is going on a trip. We are going to the shore. Now, wait a minute. Notice here, you see how I use my vowels? When we started talking about the family again, we used my family and then we. And this one's talking about going on a trip, and this one's talking where I'm going. We changed subjects. So that is going to be a new sentence. So I put a period in to make this a capital. All right? Let's see if we can find another one. Okay. We're going to the shore. I can't wait to swim and play there. It will be so much fun. We are going to the shore. I can't. Wait a minute. Did you notice again how my vowels changed? This one was we. And this one changed to I. That's a good another good sign that it's a new sentence. We are going to the shore. I can't wait to swim. Ah! We are going to the shore, period. So that is, again, telling me that I'm switching. I'm talking about something else because this one's talking about going to the shore. Now, this sentence is talking about playing because it's swimming and playing. Let's see if there's any more periods in here. I can't wait to swim there and play. I can't wait to swim and play there. It will be so much fun. Wait a minute. Notice how that changed again? Period. And again, I can't wait to swim and play there. I'm talking about swimming and playing here. Now I'm telling you how much fun it's going to be. So that will be all the periods I've missed in there. And take a look. One, two, three, and four. I have four periods in that sentence. That's a four-sentence story. Now let me read it. What those periods did. My family is going on a trip. We are going to the shore. I can't wait to swim and play there. It will be so much fun. Let's make that an exclamation mark. Because it will be so much fun there. Remember, we put a punctuation mark when we are changing ideas or subjects. Like here, we're talking about the trip, going on a trip. And here, I'm telling you we're going to the shore. And we also do it when we, it helps to notice that when we change our subjects, our we, and then we went to I. Those are all good indications that we need some punctuation. All right. So that helps you with some punctuation. Keep working on it, and we're going to see what happens.